Previously on The Potentialists. Wayne is my brother who was in the military for eight years. Miami Sea Aquarium and you get attacked by like millions of fish. And you could see him actually start to enjoy himself. And it's good, you know, doing that mouth thing. What's your fear? Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Eric was invited to a wedding. My evil twin said he was driving by himself. Road trip! All the way to DC, and I couldn't have that. Being the good friends that they are, they decided to accompany me. If you ever go on a road trip with Eric, make sure he pulls over and lets you drive. I thought we were gonna stop and go to a bar and have a good time. I was called the driving Nazi. The driving Nazi decides that we gotta go straight all the way. No sleep, no stop, put God, hurry up! I don't remember her ever saying, please stop. The guy starts and will not finish until he arrives wherever he's going. We get to watch it, it's like he had a good night's sleep or something. He's all energetic and stuff and he goes downstairs to go do something in the car. I pull into this uh, underground parking garage. Next thing you know, it took him like 30 minutes to come upstairs. I'm like, how big can this parking lot actually be? Spooky DC. Very, very. Oh, parking lot. Very spooky. It's the kind where you, there you oh. oh, you get stabbed. I did that. <gasps> Oh my God. I guess I was a little bit tired. He was exhausted. This pole jumps out at my car and dents the side door. <laughs> wow. Holy sh! Are you kidding me? That's not a dent or a scratch. Nothing was humongous. How? I was trying to park. I hit. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh my God. We made it safely from. <laughs> Miami to DC except this for the is, parking garage. This is what happens when you drive for 20 hours straight. And as one party made it almost without incident, another was landing from Miami in DC. We're in Washington, DC. We are at the airport um, waiting for the shuttle. Jenny and I were both really tired when we came in, so we were we really just wanted to get on the, the shuttle and get to the hotel. We called the shuttle and the guy said 15 minutes and 45 minutes later the shuttle still wasn't there. But in the process, three other shuttles came by that said Sheridan on them. The long lost Sheridan. But they were for different cities. Pentagon City, not Crystal City. It's not our shuttle. What's that one say? That one looks like a holiday inn. It's the second Sheridan thing that's not ours. It was really, really frustrating. But that frustration subsided quickly once the shuttle arrived. And once settled into their hotel in DC... We all went out for a walk looking for food. When we were walking around this corner, the, it was like the walking dead. Everything was empty, it was like, like, it was crickets. Right where we were standing, there was an underground city. It's called Crystal City. The underground city was pretty cool. We're in an underground mall in Crystal City. They have their subway, but then they also have all of these stores and restaurants, and it's actually fairly high end. Now it makes sense why there was no one upstairs walking in that hot sun. It's all underground here. That's what happens when you come to a city you don't know. Later, back at the hotel, something interesting was unfolding. I was in the elevator and I met this couple who invited me to go downstairs to this party for this convention that was going on in the hotel that we were at. People that have experienced near life death experience convention. And all of a sudden we hear music in the background. We're like, oh, oh, that's good, that's good. Why am I see it? So she encouraged me to go dancing. At first, they seemed a little normal. <laughs> After that, we met this guy that she'd met earlier. And somebody grabs my shoulder, and it was my little friend from the elevator. He's like, oh, I see you joined us. The way he introduced himself to me was like nothing I've ever had happened to me before. He reaches out and grabs my hand, and I say hi. And he goes, I've been dead before. I've been dead before. We were both like, what? <laughs> I've been dead, I died, I went to the sky, I met, I went to heaven, I met Jesus. I came back and now I've healed some people and it keeps me out of the bars. <laughs> it was just so disconcerting. And after a long but interesting first day in Washington, D.C., the team settled into their hotel room for what could have been a good night's sleep, except... Remember how Eric crashed his car because <laughs> he didn't want to sleep? All of a sudden, it came down and the man collapsed. 
but man, his vocals were loud that night. <laughs> Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?